So before we jump into questions today, Prue, would you like to take some time to introduce yourself to our audience? Certainly, my name is Prue Muirhead. I own a company called Muirhead Property Management. Uh, we're in Adelaide and I actually am an investor myself, have about 18 positive geared cash flow properties. So I do like returns and holding properties for long-term capital growth. So I've got 18 of those. So I love property. So Muirhead Property Management was just a way of spreading my wings. Excellent, beautiful. So now for Peter's properties down at the Esplanade, 196 Esplanade, they're obviously they're going to be double storey. Would you have recommended a single storey or a double storey for this particular property? Yeah, and they're going to be beautiful too. Um, obviously in that location, two storey to capture the views is, is on, on point totally. Definitely getting the views, especially from the living area upstairs would be perfect and is perfect. Yeah. Yep. And now, is there an ideal size for these units? When it comes down to it with rental compared to sales, the square metreage of the actual building um, doesn't seem to matter when it comes to rentals. Um, tenants tend to look for how many bedrooms there are and how many bathrooms and living areas. So even though they might be a bit smaller than what they could be, it doesn't seem to reflect on the rent because they're only there for a short time. It's not something they're going to stay in for 20 years. It's not a long-term intention. Yeah. So yeah. on the topic of bedrooms, how many bedrooms is ideal? Ideal three. I guess four is ideal, but three, if um, four can fit, perfect. Uh, no less than two, naturally, um, mm -hmm. because the, the less bedrooms you have, usually the more transient the tenant. So three would be ideal as a base, but this being a four is perfect. Yep. Yep. And is it the same with bathrooms? Does it need to have the two bathrooms or can you get away with a two-way bathroom? I would expect with a four bed um, four bed property you'd expect at least two bathrooms, preferably an ensuite. Um, a two way bathroom is a great option if you were building something and you didn't really have the space for a second bathroom but you wanted to create that feeling of an ensuite. Yeah. yeah. And is it the same with the bedrooms? Do they need to have that the built-in robe storage or a walk-in robe? Is there something that people are looking for? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the master bedroom should always have at least a built-in robe. A walk-in robe on the seafront would almost be expected. Anywhere else, uh, a normal robe is fine. It won't reflect on your rent. They just expect that. Bedroom two, three and four, it probably doesn't matter as far as a rental return. Um, some tenants may choose not to rent a property if it hasn't got robes, but generally they're looking in the master bedroom and robes aren't usually very expensive, so it would be ideal to put them in every room. Yeah, yeah definitely. I know I like my built-in robes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Going up the stairs with that big robe. That's it. Nobody yeah. wants to be doing no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> and in terms of um, tenant expectations, being on the Esplanade, is a balcony, is it a must or can you get away with just having gorgeous big glass windows? On the seafront, a, a balcony is a must. Believe it or not, a balcony away from the seafront will probably only return you one or two percent, but would on your investment. So ultimately, it really isn't necessarily worth it elsewhere, but definitely on the seafront would be a necessity, and it big enough to sit on. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you see and some of those balconies, and you wonder what's the point. Exactly. Of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, how about garaging? Do they, do they need to have a double garage or is a single garage okay? I think on the seafront, if you could get a double garage, it would be perfect. And in this case, it has been a double garage. Um, a single garage is a, is a definite and an off-street parking for a second vehicle would be a, an absolute definite too. So a single would be ideal, but um, the double is the one that you'd need on the seafront. And it does reflect on rent. That one does make a difference with your rental returns if you give them a double or a single. Okay. Yeah. So who is our target market for this for these properties? Yeah, I would expect to be someone that's um, a professional couple with children, probably not very, very young children because of the stairs, um, but a couple of professionals, anything up to retirement. So, so just virtually anybody that's not probably, maybe not even a, virtually anyone that can go upstairs would probably, who wouldn't want to love to live on the seafront. Yeah, yeah that's the difference true. beautiful. Now, do you have a, an appraisal rental price for the property? Absolutely. Um, Seafronts, because this is a brand new property, you'll always return more rent in the very initial tenancy. So I would imagine it'd be anything up to $600. Um, most of the properties on the seafront at the moment that aren't new, uh, four bed, two baths, are actually returning about 500, but I would think 550 to 600 because it's brand new because that always brings you more rent. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. 
Now, Prue, do you have any other property management suggestions for other developers out there? Absolutely, just a couple. Um, wash and wear paint, because tenants touch walls and you don't want to be painting regularly, you certainly want wash and wear paint. Unlike if you were selling it, you could just paint the property and sell it, it would be okay. But tenants are going to touch your walls and you're going to have to repaint them if you don't use wash and wear paint and that'll cost quite a bit of money to do. Um, the second suggestion would be to allow pets where possible because um, just like I saw, I've got pets, most of us have pets and 70% of the rental market have pets so you don't really want to close off your market because um, supply and demand, the more people that want the property, the higher the rent you'll get. So, And the um, Residential Tenancies Act does protect you from any kind of damage pets do too. So it really isn't, isn't a huge risk to have a pet and you will get higher rental for that. Um, the third one would be um, professional photographs because you're going to keep the property for a while for capital growth and rent returns. So nice photos will always bring in nice tenants. So I would certainly get some professional, and they're only about $150 to get done. So it's a, it's a really, really good investment considering how much you've just spent on doing a development. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Well, thank you so That's much okay, for coming Belinda, in today. That's okay, Belinda, thank you for having me. Really appreciate your yes, time. Thank, thank you. you. Okay.